the women around one tree seven times. Then they marched the men around that same tree nine times. That was called the tree of forgetting. That was for them to forget who they were. Then they marched all of them around another tree three times. That was called the tree of return, saying that no matter where they're taken in the world, at least they're supposed to turn back to Africa. And as you go down the bluff, you like I said, but when you're walking down the bluff, again, because I always try to deal with the shade, that when our answers are marched, again, I can say that the women, as they be marched, the folks in the water, because we're going to walk over to the mines there. They're going to talk about this information is out there, but folks don't put it out there. They say when the Africans being marched to the boats in the water, you should have fallen down to the beach there. They start grabbing the sand, stuff in their mouth. All right, that's what you all know why they were doing that? They didn't know where they were going to be taken in the world. They wanted to take a piece of Africa with them. The only place they're going to put it is for them to ingest it. The devil, the majesty in 50, seeing 100, seeing 1,000 Africans saying, grabbing sand, stuffing in their mouth, and crying as they be taken to boats on the wall. I said, that goes to show you the love that I am for the half of Africa. That's the same love we're supposed to have for Africa. And that's the same love we're supposed to have for each other. So we'll make our way. And I just see those pyramids straight ahead. Oh. This is symbolic. You can see this? Yeah, I'll show you when we get closer. They're really small. It's just this, like, little capstone on the top of the thing. But just, you know, the symbol at this place. Yeah. There's actually three of them.